Welcome to the tutorial on my voice business. For this tutorial, we are going to configure routing for incoming calls. Turn our incoming calls to the destination. In our environment, we are going to assume that all trunks belong to a single service provider or telco, which in our case is BTC. We are also going to assume that there is no least cost routing and that there is no DDI. So the steps are as follows. We log on to our controller. You can see that we have a four FXO card, which is analog trunks, port 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4. And by default, each trunk has been assigned to its on trunk group so we've got port 1.1 being assigned to analog trunk group 1 then port 1.2 being assigned to analog trunk group 2 and port 1.3 being analog assigned to analog trunk group 3 and analog port 1.4 being assigned trunk group 4 As you can see, channel of port is its own trunk group, and we need to change this. We need to put all the analog trunks to one analog trunk group. So let's do let's go and do that. So I go to the first trunk group number one, then I edit by double click clicking it or by right clicking, right clicking on it. And selecting edit so the first thing that I'll do is that I'll name the trunk group number one I'll name it BTC then I will apply so my trunk group number one named BTC then I will go to analog trunk on port 1.1 I'll double click open i assign it to trunk group one as you can see it is already in trunk group one so i leave it like that but then i open up other settings and i go to change the ring cycle and change it to 10 seconds this is for btc lines only this is this is this is to enable the console, the operator console or the destination phone to be able to answer a ring call while it's the ring cycle is off. And then the next change that I will make is that if, because we are assuming that this line does not have caller ID, so I disable clip detection, then I apply. So I go to the trunk on port 1.2. I double click it to open. As you can see, it is in trunk group number two, but I want it to go to trunk group number one. So I select trunk group number one there. Then again, I go to ring cycle and I change from three to 10 seconds. And then I am going to disable caller ID by disabling clip detection. Then I apply. Once I apply, you can see that the analog trunk 1.2 is now moved and I no longer see trunk group number 2. When it is empty, it does not display here. So I move on to the next spot, which is spot 1.3. I double click it and see trunk group is in trunk group number 3. I change that trunk group number 1. Then I also change the ring cycle. From three seconds to ten seconds and then I disable clip detection and then I apply once I do that you can see trunk group number three is no longer available so I'll go to analog port 1.4 again I double click you can see it is in trunk group number four I change this to one then I also go ahead and change the ring cycle from 3 to 10 and I disable 
clip detection for that and then i apply as you can see now all my analog trunks are in analog trunk group number one which is named btc if i open it i can see its maximum calls are outgoing calls are four because i've put four trunks in there it's maximum simultaneous connections is four i am happy with that so i will apply and if i check the arrows i will see that all the trunks are in trunk group number one this which is named btc they got code distribution one and they are being received at extension 200 i'm just checking one by one they are all being received at extension 200 should I choose to make them ring at the operator console, I will then come to the code distribution here where it is taking to 200 extension to and change it to go to the operator extension. I will just double click and then where it says user here, I will select operator console for switch position number one, which is uh, mode number one. And then I'll go and do the same for switch position number two. I'll also change it to operator console. And lastly, I'll do the change for switch position number three. I'll also change it to operator console. Then I apply. Once I do that, if I check my arrows again, I can see now incoming calls are going to the operator console. So that is all.